Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Recently, we've been talking about the basics of ethics, specifically what good is, what evil is, and how we can prove that our standard for these two is right. We're also obligated to practice ethics, because it's the best thing for us, and there are ways of practicing ethics towards God and towards our fellow man. First, towards God. The practice of ethics, as we said the last two times, is about struggling to fulfill the purpose for which we were designed, and part of that purpose involves learning the truth. Another part of that purpose is in trying to be more like God. The first thing you arrive at on both of these paths is honesty. Honesty is not only being willing to tell the truth, but accepting the truth once you find it and never being a hypocrite, and here is where the rest of ethics comes in. Every time we say that a specific action is objectively evil, it's because performing that action makes you a hypocrite. For example, I can't murder someone and then get upset when other people murder someone I care about or me because that would make me a hypocrite. I can't steal from someone and then get upset when someone else steals what I've stolen because that would make me a hypocrite. I can't treat other people like objects and then get upset when others treat me that way because that would make me a hypocrite. In the end, the result is always the same. Anyone who's a hypocrite is really only lying to themselves, and lies can't be good. Therefore, when we break these rules, we're failing to be like God, failing to be good, and failing to achieve our potential. This is why certain actions are always wrong, and always contrary to ethics. Now that we have a few things that are always wrong, let's apply that standard to God. How do we practice ethics towards God, and how do we sin against him? I mean, we can't kill him, steal from him, or objectify him. What's our ethical obligation to God? First, everyone I know wants God to treat them respectfully. So there's our first obligation. We need to treat God respectfully. People also tend to want God to listen to them and be grateful for the good things they've done. So we should be doing this also, listening to God and being grateful for the good things he's given us. Being honest and obeying his will to the best of our ability is another important factor, because we know that God only wants what's best for us, and doing these things will help accomplish that. Finally, because God is the standard of right and wrong, we need to set our priorities with him first in our lives, because unless we do that, we can't claim to care about ethics at all. This is why people worship God, and it's why Roman Catholics are supposed to take care in how they worship God worshiping him in the way that he wants to be worshipped. The point is to prioritize God's will over our own, to show that we really care about our ethical obligations towards justice and truth, about our real well-being. This is what ethics towards God is all about. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.